welcome to 2021 and welcome to the start of a new season of Fragments of Silicon. Um, you know, our seasons actually start off with our first review session. And indeed, we've got one of those scheduled for tonight. Um, four reviews this week. Um, first of which is a game called Calico. Uh, now, if you'll remember, we featured Calico a, feature, a few months ago when we had a representative of Whitethorn Games on the program. No, I think that was like one of four games, like maybe three. Uh, now, these things do get blurry after a few months. Now, anyway, um, so Calico is, I hesitate to use the word simulator in uh, the description of this. Uh, you know, it's, I guess, in terms of pure genre, it is one of those but you're not really simulating the actual running of a cat cafe or any kind of cafe. Like, you don't have to worry about budgets and um, inflows and, you know, all that serious stuff that makes for time pressures. Um, no, like, the focus of this game was uh, can be summed up in two words, super casual. Um, indeed, it uh, very much touts this on the uh, you know bullet points. Um, does a you know it describes itself as a day in the life community sim game. Once again, I, I hesitate to use the word simulation because this game isn't really interested in in simulating. It's interesting in giving you a very relaxing time, and yes, there's a difference because. There's no fail state in this game. Mm -hmm. You know, that, believe me, that has a world of difference. You know, that's not, that's, there's nothing wrong with that, but it definitely changes how you would approach things. You know, but like, for example, the actual cat cafes, surprisingly, uh, it's an afterthought, really. You know, but I suppose it couldn't help be that since it's, you know, more about uh, cuddling cute creatures and making friends along the way than anything else. Like, um, and, and yeah, uh, it's, it is relaxing to a point. Like, I, I suppose my main issue is the actual gameplay just basically uh, boils down to fetch quest the game uh, because there is actual you know it, it's not a complete sandbox kind of deal where you d don't do anything there are goals and you do unlock things um, you um, not just like costumes and furniture for your cat cafe um, magic potions uh, and the big goal is to unlock all the areas of the island you know, um, anyway, the story is you are the new proprietor of the local of this island's local cat cafe given to you by your uh, aunt. And, you know, if this were a Harvest Moon game, you'd be uh, tasked with fixing it up. And, you know, here, you know, you are given you know, given some furniture you know, you will have access to more furniture. I suppose another issue I had with this is it's all pretty limited. Like, for example, you can't expand the cat cafe. So if you got two pretty small floors, like all in all, but then again, it's not a big uh, island population either. Like it's each islander is their own character kind of deal and um as far as your create a character well this game is a very um inclusive game that is to say uh you've got a menagerie of body types skin colors um it even deals with pronouns so you got they them in there you know you can be non-binary which is um very forward-facing when it comes to video games. Um, and, you know, it, 
as far as the actual cuteness goes, it's a curious package. I mean, the animals are definitely cute. Um, and this game has a, has a pastel y uh, color palette, but it's all very muted. You know, um, it, they're not bright pastels. Um, like it, it was dragged across the seventh generation somehow. Mm -hmm. You know, not complaining because uh, bright pastels can get obnoxious after a while. It's just curious. Like, um, and I suppose to address the, uh, not suppose, not so much the elephant in the room, but, uh, you know, the actual graphics, uh, yeah, th they are not all that impressive. You know, this is a fully 3D game with fully 3D movement and, um, you know, not going to lie, some of the animations are... And the movement, um, you know, they're the result of a small team working in the 3D space, is what I'll say. You know, some of it is just genuinely weird because they wanted to do certain things with the animals. But others, like, uh, yeah, there was, just, uh, like, when I got to the actual end... Um, let's just say my character just stopped animating and just became a statue. Fun. Yeah. Um, to, mm. to, to sum it up, uh, one, uh, let's say acquaintance, uh, uh, told me about it. It has a very, um, early access in steam look to it. And I couldn't exactly disagree with that. Um, once again, I suspect that this was made by a team of, say, five, 15 people um, overall. So I know why it looks like it does, but I'm also noting that, yeah, this, you know, this level will put off some people. On the other hand, it was more stable than I was expecting. <laughs> uh, didn't crash once, no slowdown, uh, ran like a dream. You know, and when it comes to Unity games, that's not always the case. You know, like Paradise Killer comes to mind. Uh, uh, was that Unreal? Like, no, I think that was Unreal. But still, different engine, but, you know. It's still the same idea. Yeah. And, yeah. Basically, where I'm coming down in, on this is if you want a relaxing, a truly relaxing experience, um, this is your game. In fact, I couldn't play this uh, for too long because it was actually starting to put me to sleep. Mm. You know, not in a boring way, but, you know, in a this is relaxing. You know, what happens when you relax too much? You fall asleep. Mm-hmm. You know, and, you know, I didn't actually fall asleep, but I was definitely getting sleepy-eyed. Uh, mm -hmm. So I suppose that's mission accomplished? <laughs> like, you know. Um, let's see. Like I said, uh, you know, there's a, uh, you know, there's a lot going, uh, there's a lot in this game, but there's actually not a lot going on in this game is just kind of the central point I keep coming back to. Because, you know, you can see that there are cat toys. Um, also worth noting, even though this game is called Calico and is very um, heavily biased towards cats, uh, there are many other animals. Um, there are dogs. Uh, there's a raccoon. There's a fox. Um, uh, shit, there's a bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could ride said bear. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm like this world needs more bear cafes. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Like, not the gay kind, just like cafes with actual bears. I mean, you know, I guess it's worth noting that this game is very is very LBGT focused as well. You no, know? um, like I 
I don't think your character can date anyone, but there are like girls who are dating other girls and such going on here. Um, like in fact, like one of one of those couples want to schedule a date. Like one of the quests is like scheduling a date at your uh, cat cafe. Um, but yeah, there's all sorts of animals, and once again, you know why I really couldn't call this a simulation is, you know, you don't really do anything with the animals except like carry them, cuddle them, um, because in an actual simulation. It's not just about um, cuddling your cats or your animals. It's caring for them. You know, feeding them, making sure you clean up after them. I mean, even Tamagotchi did some of this stuff. And, you know, you don't have to worry about that. Nor, I suppose you have to worry about um, your cat vomiting on the carpet, um, which happened the other day to me, if you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, or worried about any of the pets dying or, you know, any of the, let's say, negative aspects of owning an animal. You know, I suppose in the, you know, in the case of like the fox or the bear um, or the raccoon, it's like not being mauled or get, contracting rabies. Um, because remember, bears are wild animals and need to be respected. Uh, Bears can tear through you pretty fucking quickly. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, not, they can. Yeah, do not pet bears. Do not attempt to pet bears. <laughs> like, do not do those kinds of things in real life. It's fine in calico, but not in real life. <laughs> That's a good way to die. Indeed. Actually, it's a pretty horrible way to die. It is. Fair. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, the music, uh, actually fairly ranged, uh, you know, like the beginning is predictably lighthearted. Uh, can it wait? Like, uh, and, um, some of the other music tracks get, like, the forest track gets interestingly mysterious. And yeah, the music's overall pretty good. Uh, let's see. So pricing. Um, this game clocks in at twelve dollars, and it will last you. Like uh, like going through the main quest uh, only took a couple hours. Does there's some host game content. I don't, I'm of two minds of this price point. You know, um, if you want a relaxing experience, you know, and to simulate the cuddling of uh, cute animals for whatever reason, like maybe you have cat allergies. I get that. Um, then, yeah, go ahead and pick this up. Um, unfortunately, the, this is ultimately a bit hollow in terms of uh, substantive gameplay, you know, going back to it's all a not a it's not an actual simulation of things, you know, like if you want, you know, managing a cat cafe, this isn't your game actually, you know, it, it's like if you want a pet simulator, this isn't your game, you know, if you want any actual kind of simulation, this isn't your game, no matter what it says on the advertising blurbs, you know. I'm not saying that they're falsely advertising. It's just it's really dialed to that super casual side of the equation to the point where you don't have the stresses of, you know, goal of actual goals and completion, but you don't have anything that would keep you around for that because after a while, cuteness kind of dries up. Mm -hmm. but, um. So, you know, I'd say slightly above average, um, maybe a slightly below average if you're looking for a simulation, an actual simulation style game. And as we have it, we'll be talking about some of those uh, coming up after the break. Um, indeed, the next game scheduled, a Petty Fan will be taking on 
Moai 6 Unexpected Guest Collector's Edition. The first of two Moai games we're reviewing this week. Um, so until, you know, till then, 